Hi everyone, I'm Evie. What I have for you guys today is Greek rice in Spanish, arroz griego. This is how they do it in Puerto Rico. I don't know how true it is to Greek form, but this is what I have for you guys today. So watch for the ingredients. Okay, for the ingredients, I have two and a half cups of long grain rice. I have a package of bacon. We're only gonna use half. If you wanna use four cups, you can use the whole thing. I'm gonna give you options here. If you want, you can use two cans of the French onion soup, or you can use one of the French onion and beef uh, broth. I'm gonna do it the way they do it in Puerto Rico, which is they use half of an onion, and I'm gonna use a can of this, of the broth. If you don't have any of these, you can definitely use, oh, I got the wrong one. Like I was saying, if you don't have any of these, you can make your own broth with um, this. You can use the bouillon in a cube form or you can use powder form. I think it's easier and it dissolves really quick in here. So yeah, I'll be using, this is two and a half cups of rice. I'll be using three and a half cups of water. So make sure you dilute as much as you want of this in your three ounces, I mean your three cups of water because um, it's to taste how much salt you like. And then like I said, half of an onion. So let's get started. Okay, so for the first thing I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna take my bacon. The bacon is bacon of your choice. If you like the thick cut, go for that. You should go for a knife that's sharpened. Okay, I'm back. So, how are everybody doing? Guys, <laughs> nobody wants to be home anymore. I'm a homebody, I don't mind staying home. But when you have to do it forcefully, like it's different, right? It's different. Um, you want this small? About this small. This thin. Like half inch thin. Or just cut it to the size you like. Like I said, if you're a big bacon fiend, then you can use the whole packet. That's up to you. We're not using salt because this already has sodium, the, the broth. But if you want, if you have a different, want more salt, add more bouillon or or just salt, okay? So I'm gonna chop, I already did my bacon, and I'm gonna do half of a medium onion. I told Lisi, I was hanging out with her at Walmart yesterday, we had to get you know essential stuff that we need, we have to replenish our food and stuff for that toilet paper and stuff like that. I told you, see, once this is over, I just want to go to the lake and just walk forever. I am dying to go for a walk. Need to go for a walk. Even a bike ride, even roller skating, even that sounds good. Yes, I do roller skate. Haven't in a long time, but yeah. I like a small dice on my onion. Cut it to your liking. Okay. Who else is with me on that walk? <laughs> Gotta get out of here. This little top part of the onion. But... Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're going straight to our stove. We're gonna saute this bacon first so that it can render fat. And it's gonna be in a one pot deal so you don't have to do the bacon on somewhere else and then use another pot for something else so let's go to our stove okay so i have my stove on high just turn that on and i'm just gonna toss in my bacon love that sizzle remember it's gonna render out a lot of fat if it renders out too much fat we'll take some of the fat out because usually you add oil to your rice. So I don't need it for Spanish. But if it runs it off too much, we'll just take some of it out. Okay. My bacon is still not done. You want your bacon to be crispy, okay? So we're going to add the water and stuff. We're going to fog back up. Don't worry about your pot getting all this stuff at the bottom. That's perfect. Once the water hits that, that's going to uh, not bleed anymore. And it'll give your food even more flavor. 
So one of your bacon is almost crispy. And I'm not throwing out any of the fat. It hasn't rendered off too much fat. So when this is crispy, then I'll add the onion. I'm going to saute the onion for about two minutes till they get translucent. Then I'll add my rice. By the way, I already washed my rice. Okay, so my bacon is super crispy now. I'm going to add the onion. Add the onion. My house smells amazing. So I decided to use the French onion one and the broth. So I'll let you know how many. And by the way, this is this is a ten and a half ounce can, and this one is also ten and a half. So I'll let you know how much water I use besides the yeah. Mmm, my house smells so good. The onion with the pan, it smells delicious. I'm going to let the onions cook up for another minute. Okay, so our onions are translucent. They're nice and soft. They can so crispy. We're going to add the one can of the French onion soup. And we're also going to add our beef broth. Get that color. That's why you don't have to add anything else to it. The rice will absorb all this color. Like I said, if you want to skip, skip the uh, sautéing of the onions, you can. Just because the French onion soup has a lot of onion also. I should have done it all that way, but I just wanted to show you. You know how they do it in Puerto Rico. So now let's add our rice. Remember, I have two and a half cups of rice. I will tell you how much water I'll be adding to this. You know what? I'm going to add it by the can where the broth came in. Okay, we're adding one can of water. I added two cans of 10 ounce and a half each for our rice. What you want to do now is grab a spoon and taste it for salt. If you like things a little saltier, add a little bit more salt. Or like I said, you can add the um, the beef. Let me show you. Or you can add some of this. This has salt in it also. Yeah, for my taste, definitely needs it. I'm going to add about a tablespoon I cannot stand food that's not flavorful or that's missing salt I just need it to be on point and I don't like adding raw salt to it after it's been cooked because it's not the same so see it's very smooth in the bottom the all the liquid absorbed all the stuff that was sticking to your bottom to the bottom of your pan I'm gonna give it a try Believe it or not, a teaspoon, and that will do it. That'll do it for me, for my liking. Remember, everybody's taste is different. A lot of people like saltier stuff. I do. I don't mean salty that you can't stand it, but the flavor on point, and not some food that's bland. Now I grab one more spoon to taste it again. Yep, that is perfect for me, okay? So when this comes to a hard boil, I'm gonna lower the heat to medium, and then we're gonna wait till it dries up a little bit before we put a lid on it. Okay, my rice has already started to boil. I'm just gonna lower the heat to medium because I have it on high, and I'm just gonna let that cook away till it starts to dry. After it starts to dry, I'll show you what it looks like. I'll just put a lid on it and put it on the lowest setting on my stove for 25 minutes. For these pots that have holes, you know what I do? I take saran wrap, I take a little piece and I 
put it on here. That way when I cook my rice, the steam stays in there and cooks the rice. If not, it's letting all the steam out. It's not cooking your rice. I mean, it does cook it, but it takes longer because it's releasing the steam. I just cover it up so the steam can stay in there and cook the rice. Okay, everyone, the rice is almost dry. I'm just moving it around, make sure nothing sticks to the bottom and everything is perfect. You want it to have some liquid, okay? Because you need this rice to cook off. So I'm going to put it on my lowest. I'm going to put my lid on here and I'm going to put my timer for 25 minutes. And we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so my beeper went off, my timer. Let's check this out. Put it in there, don't matter. Um, let's give this a mix. It looks like it's completely done. Mmm, it smells delicious. I'm actually going to leave it five to seven more minutes. I need to dry it up a little bit more. But it looks good. It looks like Chinese fried rice, right? That color on there is amazing. I love it. I'm going to grab a spoon. I'm going to give this a little taste. Make sure the rice is fully cooked. Oh, it is. And it tastes so good. I'm just going to give it five more minutes. And then we'll be at the plating. By the way, I'll be making, well, I already made this, but I'll be making um, pinto stewed beans with this rice and a side salad with lettuce, tomato, a little bit of vinegar, olive oil, and salt. So here was my timer. And we'll see you at the plating. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like. You can see bacon and onions all through the rice. I know it looks plain, but picture the stewed pinto beans and the salad on the side delicious it's just that it's 12 o'clock here noon we don't eat till about five or six so i don't want to cook everything so early so here it is nice fluffy rice let's taste it i'm excited about it baby daddy's the one that taught me how to make this <laughs> mm. smokiness of the bacon the French onion soup mix, you can taste it. It's gonna go good with those pink with those beans. Delicious guys, try this. Mm-hmm. Delicious. So thank you guys for being with me, spending your time with me. If you know our if you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, God bless you. What I have for you guys tomorrow are going to be. Uh, potato fritters, um, in Spanish, tortitas de papa. Um, a lot of people, uh, this is a Mexican recipe. A lot of people in Mexico make this uh, on Friday, on Good Friday, because, you know, they don't eat meat. So that's what I'll have for you guys tomorrow. So thank you for watching. Take care. God bless.